Let's go out live right now to North Highland Elementary School. This is on our SkyCam network. You see it there. This is right off of the Broadway extension. This school is one of 15 Oklahoma City Public Schools on the closure list. The board voted unanimously tonight to back the superintendent's plan to reinvent the district. Our Sylvia Corkill is live with the changes expected to roll out starting tomorrow. Sylvia? Amanda, Superintendent Shaw McDaniel has maintained all along that tonight's announcement would be the result of months in planning. He now hopes by August 4th that some of the plan's key components will be set in place. Excited about what we're going to be able to do for 45,000 kids uh, in our school district. With Superintendent Dr. Sean McDaniel at the helm, the district agreed to overhaul its education system. As a rule, this is the best plan this district we've seen. Most of us have been on here quite a while now. Um, that really went across the board and looked at every single kid. And while the Path to Greatness plan calls for the closure of 15 schools, they'll still play a role in each community. But we've had no conversation as, mm -mm. as a board, as a, a group of committees through the process about selling any of those 15. We really want to add value to the community through repurpose. That's that's our goal. The plan also calls for changes to school boundaries, grade structures, and feeder patterns. It's expected to cost the district around $11 million, money left over from previous bonds. McDaniel says in exchange, P2G will give schools more resources. I am thrilled. I'm excited. Uh, for me, that means every elementary school will have a full-time counselor, which we needed in our buildings, uh, full-time P art and music and while there are still some uncertainties the board has not given concrete answers as to what we're, what's going to happen where we're going to go if we're going to be reassigned the board says they're confident they made the right decision we cannot wait we have been waiting for decades now, one notable change expected to roll out tomorrow. McDaniel says by the end of the school date, they will have named each principal for each building. Sylvia Corkill, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.